God's goal for our lives is to be up in these mountains to run this. He wants us to take these mountains over business, arts and entertainment, media, government, education, family, and religion. But the decisions we make here mean absolutely everything. Let's, let's, let's get into this now. Let's, let's get into this. Last week we told you that Joseph steps foot in Potiphar's house. He's at the bottom now because in why at the bottom? The Bible says the Lord is with him. He's a successful man because he was leaning on the gifts of the Lord and because his master saw that the Lord was with him, that he has now been promoted to overseer of the house. Joseph is now the leader in charge. Joseph goes from tending flocks with his father to now the marketplace and he is now making his steady climb up the mountains of his dreams he is making his steady climb up the mountain of government but hear me y'all the favor on joseph is so ridiculous going back to the coat of many colors to now the favor of him was so ridiculous that he was also carrying around with him the attraction of the lord in him do you understand there is an attraction of the Lord? And so when you have beauty combined with the beauty of the Lord shining in you, that can be very dangerous. That can be trouble. And you know what else? You're going to have folks drawn to you. And you need to be able to discern what's really going on. What's your motive for real? Everybody patting you on the back, you need to check their hands to see if they don't have a knife in their hands. Yeah. Congratulations. Good job. Real talk. And so you got to be careful with what God has placed in you. He wants us to infiltrate these mountains, but hear me clearly, y'all. There are spirits on these mountains. And if we don't go in with the armor of the spirit, these spirits going to mess us up. Please don't get it twisted. There are principalities on these mountains that are dominating the thoughts and minds of men and women everywhere. And if we are not careful, we're going to fall prey to the same stuff. Everybody is going to face an indecent proposal. You're not going to escape it. If you haven't already, keep living. Why? Because we are operating in dark territories where indecent proposals abound. Y'all, this is much deeper than a potential adulterous situation, even though that should not be excluded. But the stakes are too high, men and women of God. And we must make the right decisions in this season. And you can be in here right now and you can keep it real and say, you know what, Pastor George, I done already messed up. I done, I done already fell to some indecent proposals. I done already slipped up. That's why I'm so thankful that my Bible tells me in 1 John 1 and 9 that we confess our sins. He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. I'm so thankful that my Bible tells me that there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. I'm so thankful that my Bible tells me that his mercies are from everlasting to everlasting. I'm so thankful that my Bible tells me that his mercies are new every morning. I'm so thankful that my Bible tells me that his grace is sufficient for me and his strength is made perfect in his weakness. And so everybody at the end of this message, we're all going to have the opportunity to ask God for forgiveness and repent for falling to any indecent proposals. And then all of us are going to decide today that from this day forward, we're going to live our lives to the glory of God. If you are excited about that, you ought to say, bless your name, Jesus. <sighs> Thank you, Lord, for another chance. Indecent proposals, they come, y'all, when, when, when the favor and success catapults us into areas of temptation and seduction. And please hear me, y'all. It's not going to just be an occasional thing. 
Is this, it's not no, whew, I passed that test one time and now it's over, please. The Bible says that Potiphar's wife came at Joseph every day. Every day. She didn't stop. She was relentless. I'm thinking to myself, man, Joseph's swagger must have been off the charts. Don't you understand? No. My goodness. 